Greenland is one of the biggest places in the world, and yet very little of it is known to the outside world. In fact, many people still have misconceptions about the beautiful Arctic nation. For one, there is a lot more to Greenland than glaciers and ice, and the nation has layers of culture and history that will unfold once you're here. Today, we are going to debunk the myths surrounding Greenland, and help you get a better understanding of what the nation and its people are all about. Here I'm gonna tell you 5 facts about Greenland that you might not know. 1. World's largest island. Let's start with the basics. Greenland is actually the world's biggest island, by area, that is not a continent. The total area of Greenland is 2.16 million square kilometers, 836,330 square miles. Including other offshore islands, almost 80% of the land mass is covered by an ice cap. The ice-free area may be a minority, but it's still around the size of Sweden, with a population of 56,480, 2017 estimate. It is one of the least densely populated countries in the world. 2. Greenland really was green, since most of Greenland is covered in ice, snow and glaciers, the Arctic nation is mostly white, so how did it get its name, Greenland, when it's not really green? It actually got its name from Eric the Red, an Icelandic murderer who was exiled to the island. He called it Greenland, in hopes that the name would attract settlers. But according to scientists, Greenland was actually quite green more than 2.5 million years ago. A new study reveals that ancient dirt was cryogenically frozen for millions of years underneath about 2 miles of ice. 3. Autonomous country. Greenland is an autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark. Although Greenland is geographically a part of the North American continent, it has been politically and culturally associated with Europe for about a millennium. Since 1721, Denmark has held colonies in Greenland, but the country was made part of Denmark in 1953. In 1979 Denmark granted home rule to Greenland, and in 2009 expanded self-rule was inaugurated, transferring yet more decision-making power and more responsibilities to the Greenlandic government. Under the new structure, gradually Greenland can assume more and more responsibilities from Denmark, when it is ready for it. 4. 4,500 years of history. According to historians, the first humans were thought to have arrived in Greenland around 2500 BC. The group of migrants apparently died out and were succeeded by several other groups who migrated from North America. At the beginning of the 10th century, Norsemen from Iceland settled the uninhabited southern part of Greenland. But they disappeared in the late 15th century. The Inuit migrated here from Asia in the 13th century and their bloodline survived to this day. Most Inuit Greenlanders are their direct descendants and continue to practice some of the centuries-old traditions. Humans have inhabited Greenland for more than 4,500 years. 5. Inuit culture. Today, 88% of Greenland's population are Inuit predominantly Kalalit, or mixed Danish and Inuit. The remaining 12% are of European descent, mainly Danish. Truth be told, Greenlanders actually don't appreciate being called Eskimos. The proper name for them is Inuit or Kalalit, which actually means Greenlander in the native Inuit language. Kalalisit. The Inuit Greenlanders identify strongly with Inuits in other parts of the world, like Canada and Alaska, and they actually share some similarities in their languages as well.